What is good, YouTube? Adam over here, a.k.a. Value Bliss. I went thrifting and I got a nice haul video for you. I got some fire fire, hot hot items, some good bolos to show you, and items that are going to make money when you sell them online. So most of the items in this haul are from thrift stores, but I got also a few items from garage sales and local estate sale auctions. So let's get the show going. So I got this at the thrift store today. This is a vintage Hawaiian shirt, very nice print, got the sailboat, the beach, the palm trees, hibiscus flower, and the make is vintage, is Kalina Fashions of Hawaii, so it's made in Hawaii, has a vintage tag. I had 30% off, of course, so I paid around uh, 6 bucks for this, and this shirt should sell for uh, $30. I picked it up because I like the the color scheme. Next item, it's I don't know if this is vintage, uh, might be. It's a denim jacket, very nice looking jacket, but there is something special about this jacket on the back. Check this out. Boom. Warner Brothers, all the characters embroidered on the back, huge, and it says that's all folks, Fox. So it has the bunny rabbit, Tasmanian devil, the uh, Tweety bird, I don't even know all the names, coyote and the bird and the cat, Felix the cat, I think. So very cool jacket. I don't think they make this anymore, so it might be out of production, out of print. I paid up for it, so 17.99 with the discount, I paid around 12 bucks. The tag says um, Warner Brothers studio store so i don't think it's vintage but it's a nice find it's a size large i am gonna be asking 60 60 dollars for this puppy i also got a pair of shorts uh kind of longer shorts i go below the knee and these are cargo shorts the brand name is diesel diesel training Extreme wellness. There's just the I think the line, but look at the look at the stitching on this. The the back has like a patch on the ass. <laughs> so it's durable. Great for hiking, rock climbing. Uh even the part on the side has lots of stitching. Look at how much how many stitches. So nine ninety nine, so pay around seven bucks for this. I have not researched these pants but I'm pretty sure I can get um Around thirty, forty to thirty to forty dollars. Here is the tag. That's a golden thread diesel, size thirty-two. That's pretty nice. So another pair of shorts. I got some shorts. Uh, these are a nice find. Again, same price as the diesel, nine ninety-nine. Uh, check out the logo. So if you're not familiar with this logo, this is something. You should be keeping in mind, if you see the crown in the circle, this is a bolo, which means be on the lookout. So if you are in the wild thrifting and you come across this logo on a shirt or shorts and it's reasonably priced, this is something you want to pick up. The name of the brand is Canary. So here's the tag. Canary, San Diego, California. And these these guys, uh, they make cycling uh, apparel. So these are cycling shorts. They are baggy sh cycling shorts for mountain biking. Uh, the tag is uh, washed off, but it says made in USA. So it might be an earlier. I don't know if they all still make them in USA or now in China. But these are baggy. And, and uh, again, how I know it's cycling, they have the padded inside. Uh, so it's comfortable. And they also make the tights shorts for the road bikes and, and shirts, cycling shirts. So Canary, very good brand. Be on the lookout. I'm going to get around 30 to $35 for these shorts. Okay, the next item here, this is, uh, I saw this item second time in the thrift store with my career. This is the first time I picked it up because the, fir the first time I saw it about a few months ago, the thrift store was asking $29 for them. So today I was able to find them for $7.99. And this is another bolo. If you come across this brand, 
This is a great brand that resells fast for good money. You will sell it quickly. And check this out. Check out the sprint. This is no chess. This is checkers, baby. This is a checker flag. This is the finish line. <laughs> and the, the, the brand you want to be looking at is Loudmouth. Most people know about this brand, but if you have not heard about this brand, this is something you want to pick up. These shorts going to sell used for 40 to $50. And I got lucky today because I got these checker flag pattern shorts, loudmouth, and I also got these crazy yellow and black shorts, and same price, loudmouth. And also they have an embroidered logo on the back, LM. Again, these going to sell for 40 to 50 bucks. These are sh shorts for golfing, but of course you can wear them as a casual shorts on the street. Uh, amazing, cool pattern, the star or something. Looks like a Batman or a spaceship. Very cool find. Uh, so today from the thrift store, I got some other hard goods. Uh, I got this Tasmanian Devil Six Flags. This is a hard plastic rubber, and what it is, it's a coin bank, and it has all the all the the stopper on the bottom opens up, and it's Looney Tunes, so same as the jacket, and it's dated 1997. So this is considered vintage, so I can put them on Etsy. Uh, I paid four bucks for this guy. It's it's nice big size. So I'm going to list this guy on Etsy for about 20 bucks. be a quick flip. And more thrift store finds from today. Uh, this was, uh, I think the price tag fell out, but it was 4 dollars It was in the, in the poly bag section, and it's a Sony. And first when I saw it like this, I thought it was a tiny Sony camera, but like, no. And it has the tape inside so what it is it's a tape recorder micro uh recorder and the model number is m100 mc micro cassette corder corder uh, i have not tested it yet but the battery department looks clean is i saw in the baggie that the tape was still inside so somebody was using it and maybe just donated it uh, i paid around three bucks for this and this is a, a easy $40 item. So a great, great find. And the last item from today, Thrift, uh, is this uh, pencil sharpener. I don't want to open the bag because there is some shavings and they're going to fall out and make a mess. Uh, but this is, it says Eton's Deluxe. And it's like a desktop. You, you screw it to the desk or a wall. Pencil sharpener. Uh, they were only asking four bucks for it. It's pretty heavy. It not, doesn't have too much resale value, maybe 15 to $20 for shipping. It's going to be about 15 to ship this. So what I'm going to do with this pencil sharpener is I'm going to put it in my antique booth uh, at 15 bucks. So just a nice item for the booth. I think it's going to move quickly at $15. Okay, so the next item here, a few items are from a thrift store find from another day. Uh, this is from a Bible, Bible's Permission thrift store. Uh, so the first item here, this is a Minolta Hymatic AF2. This is amazing camera. I used to be able to find these cameras every week at the thrift stores in Toronto. Uh, not anymore. They, I don't know what happened. If other people are picking them up before I get there. But yeah, these cameras, last year I was selling them for $40, and they went up in value, so I can get around 50 to 60 bucks for this camera. This is a 35 millimeter point and shoot. It has some scratches on the body, it has some like, some dirt or something, but that doesn't matter. It has a very good lens. It, this one also has a lens filter on top of the lens, which protects the lens. That's good. I know that the lens is nice and clean and doesn't have any scratches. So the lens you want to be, any camera, if you see a lens with the aperture 2.8 right here, that's a good lens. So sharp photos, 30, the young guys, young people like these cameras, so this will, this will sell within one week when I list this. And I only paid, as you've seen, $5 for this guy. 
that's it. And uh, I have another item also from the same thrift store. Check it out. Has comes in a bag, and the price was what it is. It's a uh, HP. The original, the bag is original from the from the printer. It's a HP photo printer, HP Photo Smart A646. I have not tested it yet, but they were asking only four dollars, so low risk investment, and it comes with uh, some paperwork and has the power cord. And also has some extra photo paper, which is going to make it easier to sell. If it works, hopefully it's going to work. I don't see why not. So this is a Bluetooth printer for your photos. It has a touch screen and has the stylus pen here, so we can, you can use it to touch. And this printer on eBay sells for around 40 to $60 plus shipping. So I'll be listing this at 40 bucks. Uh, to to move it quickly, so that was a nice find, and I, I picked it up because there was the power cord. If there was no power cord, I'd probably leave it behind. But for four bucks, can't go wrong. Okay, moving on. Now I'm gonna show you some garage sales finds. There was one big garage sale on the weekend. There was about 40 vendors. It was more like a flea market, and some of the prices there were actually pretty high. But I was able to score some good stuff. So what I got at that garage sale from this one lady, it came in the bag. So check it out. It's a Polaroid SX70 uh, film land camera. This one takes the SX70 film. Uh, there is still film inside, I see. I have to pull it out. I don't. I won't, won't do it right now. Uh, the film battery is done. Uh, so I got this one with the bag, and plus. I, she had two of these cameras and had this one, and this one comes with the flash, and the flash comes off. Uh, just pull it out. Uh, I don't want to do it now, too. <laughs> but it comes off, and you put uh, AA batteries in the flash. I haven't tested it yet. When I talked to her, she said it was working when she was using it, so it was her personal cameras. Uh, so that's a nice find. And also, it came with the Polaroid SX70 film. This is old film. This film probably will not work anymore, but this is sealed, and uh, people might just buy it who collect film and gonna put it on the shelf beside the camera. It's gonna be looking, gonna look nice, and it's gonna sell the camera for me quicker. Uh, and also, the second camera also comes with the same case. So what I paid for these two cameras, she was asking seventy dollars for everything. I got her down to $50 for both cameras, the flash and the film. And so I'd be selling this camera with the flash uh, for 80 And the other camera without the flash, I'm going to add the film to sell it faster. I'm going to be asking 60 So I'm going to make around 90 bucks profit on that purchase. Okay, that, that, that was, that's it from the garage sales. Oh, no, there was more. Uh, <laughs> this is a, another out of my comfort zone, uh, garage sale find, check it out. So it was like this, and the lady asked me, oh, do you know what this is? And I knew right away that what these things are, they're just uh, fog lights for a truck or a car, IPF, and I had no idea how much they are worth, but there is some number on them, IPF, and then it says SEC, SAC number 804 or 480, 408. <laughs> SAC number 804. And they had the covers on them, the brackets. Uh, so I walked away from the table. I looked them up on eBay. And these these sell for a nice, nice amount. These fog lights, they sell anywhere from $100 to $200. And they have the covers. None of the one I see on eBay had the covers. And I paid a dollar each for them. So both of these cost me two bucks. I still need to test them if they work before I list them. And if they don't work, it's just the bulbs inside. And these bulbs should be pretty cheap to buy new. And how do you test these? So there is a red and blue wire. 
Um, so you just have to hook up the red wire to the positive battery in the car and the blue to the negative and just touch the battery and the light should come on. So this was a nice, I was happy with this find. Two bucks and, and my, I might get over a hundred bucks for this. Automotive. Okay, so okay, I have one more uh, Goodwill find from the weekend. Uh, it's just a vintage poster. It has a wooden frame and a plexiglass covering. And it says Ski Mississippi. This is a famous poster. It's copyright. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Copyright 1976. It, it does look from that era. Like the back is, is professionally framed. And the the thing that gives us away that is vintage. And it's, vin it's the frame. It's wood. And painted black. I only paid five bucks for this. Should read the price here. Five bucks. And first I thought I might put it in the antique booth because it's a bigger item, so I don't want to deal with shipping. But then I might actually put it on Etsy first. Won't be that hard to ship this picture. And I'm going to probably have it listed at around $50, $50 slash, slash shipping. Okay, and this is also from the Bible's promotions. I picked up two pens. Uh, so this first one, I wasn't going to pick it up because I wasn't familiar with the brand. Uh, but it does have a, it's a fountain pen, like a gold uh, nib. And the only reason I got it because it said it was made in England. And the brand says it's Osmiroid, but the model is Osmiroid 65. This is going to be hard to see. Osmiroid 65. Uh, I looked it up quickly when I got home, and this brand doesn't resell for much money. I paid 10 bucks for this one. I can maybe sell it for 20. But the other one, I also paid 10, and I knew right away what it is when I read the the maker mark on it, and it's a Waterman's. Waterman's makes the one of the best fountain pens you can get. And I sold vintage Waterman's pens before for $80, for $60. So I paid 10 and I'm sure I can get around, and it has, the nib is dirty, but I have some nibs here. I have a whole box of nibs from the auction. So I can get, I'm gonna list it at 80 and Maybe get 60 for it, so it would be nice flip. I only pay 10 bucks and very easy to ship. So yeah, be on the lookout for Waterman, Waterman and the fountain pens. Very, very good brand. Anything Waterman has a good value. Uh, I just dropped it somewhere. Okay, here it is. Okay, moving on. This is uh, from a state sale auction. So I got this few cameras there. Uh, the, this is a vintage Practica. This is um, FX model Practica FX. Uh, so it has a waist viewfinder, so you have to hold it down and look down to frame the photo. It's all mechanical, uh, so it doesn't require any batteries. And I also have an attachment for the viewfinder, so you can just look through the eye. Uh, I have it somewhere in the bag, and the lens comes off. It has a good German lens. It's a German camera. I paid twenty-five dollars for this, and the resale value with the viewfinder attachment, I can maybe get around hundred over maybe hundred twenty-five for that camera. And from the same estate sale, I also got another camera. For this one, I paid thirty dollars, and it's a Mamiya. CSX 1000, 35 millimeter SLR, and has a nice lens, has a f1.4, 55 millimeter lens, and it comes with two more lenses, so it's a whole package. That's a wide angle lens, 28 millimeter, and this is like a nice portrait lens. Uh, 135 millimeter, so 
regular lens, wide angle, and portrait. I might sell the whole thing as a package. The, the only thing I'm going to separate is this strap. Uh, this camera strap, it's the coolest thing ever. I'm going to show you. It, first, when I saw it, I thought there was somebody just used the, used the leather belt to make a strap because it looks like a belt you would use on the, on the waist. But this is actually made for a camera. Look at the endings, the clips. So this is how you hang the camera. And the strap is just used to adjust adjust the length. So this is all leather. I have never seen something like this. This is the coolest strap ever. I'm going to be asking 40 bucks just for the strap, maybe even 50 because it's a rare find, and this this be going on Etsy. Okay, vintage camera straps. I sell them on Etsy, and they sell very quickly. All the cameras I showed you gonna be are gonna be listing on Etsy. I won't list them on eBay, because eBay takes 10% cut commission. Etsy only takes 3%, three percent, three and a half. So, and they will sell fast. And also from the estate sale auction, I got some vintage uh, towels. But these are bar bar towels. You put them on the bar, and these are vintage. And I got them. Uh, nobody was bidding on it. I don't remember now. It was two or five bucks? I think two bucks. I paid for all of them. And with some research, they should sell for about twenty dollars each. So double diamond, double sided. <laughs> and then I have the whiskey, Glen Finch. Whiskey and they're all are double sided, so you put them on your bar. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, it still has it still has the auction and lot number here. Let me remove that. And this one is Sherlock Holmes. And these are all vintage. And this one even has like a hole you can hang it somewhere on the bar. Pretty cool. Yeah, they should be. At least 20 bucks each. Maybe some of them might be rare. Uh, this is shiny bass. So if they're more rare, they act maybe even get more money for them. So for five bucks I paid or two, uh, that was a good investment. I was surprised nobody was bidding on it. And Herald's. I'm just checking if... Okay, so that's almost everything. I have one more bolo to show you and a pickup from a thrift store. And this is uh, this is item that it's worth around two hundred dollars. And I don't, again, this was out of my comfort zone. I don't usually pick up blankets. It's a blanket, but check out the print on this blanket. It's big. I haven't measured it, but it's a big blanket. Has like this native African uh, print. It's heavy. It's wool, and Here's the tag, Beaver State, and Pendleton Wool Mills. So Pendleton blankets like this, they sell on eBay for around 200 to $250. Some people list them for less money, but I'm going to list it high. I'm going to list at 200 plus shipping. And I'm just looking for the price tag. I want to show you how much I paid for it. It wasn't cheap at the thrift store, but it was reasonable. Uh, the thrift store, they knew it was a better blanket. I think because it was wool. Uh, they were asking $39. I had 30% off, so I paid around uh, just under 30 bucks for it. So, But still, if I can get 200 for this blanket, that would be an amazing flip. So be on the lookout for Pendleton blankets like this good good value in this stuff and some thrift stores might not know how much these things are worth so that's my that, that is my thrift for this week uh i might be doing a sales video later on uh i had some sales i was trying to do a different format for sales video but it didn't work out but i hope you enjoyed the thrift this is the good stuff I found. Lots of heat, heat, and fire items. They're going to sell quickly for a lot of money. So I hope you learn something new. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like the video. Helps me a lot. Subscribe to my channel to be up to date with the content I post. And have a good night. 
I am out.